Collaborative efforts involving investigators from the U.S. Coast Guard, Canada, France, and the United Kingdom are underway as they delve into the implosion incident surrounding the Titan submarine. On Wednesday, the U.S. Coast Guard revealed the discovery of presumed human remains in close proximity to the Titan wreck. The remains will be transported back to the United States for analysis, contributing to the broader international investigation aimed at uncovering the events that led to the catastrophic voyage of the Titanic shipwreck earlier this month. Meanwhile, the initial photographs have emerged, showcasing the distorted wreckage of the submersible as it is being recovered from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. Capturing the attention with their dramatic depiction, the images portray the dedicated crews unloading fragments of the ill-fated sub from the Horizon Arctic vessel onto dry land at the Canadian Coast Guard Pier in St. John's, Newfoundland. This significant retrieval took place more than a week after the submarine imploded at a depth of approximately 13,000 feet, in close proximity to the Titanic wreckage, tragically claiming the lives of all five crew members on board. In a recent interview with CNN, investor Jay Bloom and his son Sean disclosed that they voluntarily relinquished their seats on the ill-fated Titan submersible, which tragically imploded weeks later. Both individuals expressed apprehension regarding the submersible's capability to navigate the deep ocean depths, prompting them to prioritize their safety. Regrettably, the seats that Jay and Sean Bloom declined were subsequently occupied by Shahzada and Suleiman Dawood, a father and son duo who tragically lost their lives along with three other passengers when the vessel met its catastrophic fate.